Come with me. Come with me to the book of Judges, the 14th, the 16th chapter, and the first verse. Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot and went in unto her. He went to Gaza from the first Philistine woman. He now moved to a prostitute, to a harlot. He was, he was going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Gifted, so anointed, successful, skillful, but he leaned on his gift. He trusted in his gift. It's dangerous to trust in yourself. Curse is every man who trusts in the arm of flesh. For it is not by might, nor by power, but it is by my spirit, said the Lord. And the Bible said, by strength shall no man prevail. It's dangerous to lean on your own strength. The Bible says, be not wise in your own eyes. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Somebody shout yes. Something was in one that trusted in him. He trusted in his ability, in his giftings, in his capability. All he had to do was to shake himself and the power and the anointing to do extraordinary things came upon him. And this time around, he found himself with a harlot, slept with her all night long, woke up in the morning, shook himself, and the anointing came, and he took the gate and the pillars of a city. You can be in error and walk in disobedience and still carry the oil and still be gifted and still be anointed. You can prophesy, bless the people of God and still be fooling and sleeping around because the gifts and callings of God are without repentance and it is not given for your benefit but for the benefit of others. Moses was specifically instructed by God to speak to the rock. God said, speak to the rock. You smote the rock the other day, but today, don't smite it. Speak to the rock. And the Bible said, he smote the rock twice. And even though he erred and he was in disobedience, the Bible said, the rocks gave water. Water came out of the rocks and fed the people. They drank of the water that came out of the rock even though he acted in disobedience and in error, the people were, were blessed, but he wasn't blessed. It means that you can still be gifted and still bless people, impact people, change the life of people, make a difference in the life of others whilst you are still in error, whilst you are still in disobedience. And God gives all of us an opportunity to turn around, to come to ourselves, to realize that depending on the gift and the anointing and the skill is not enough. That you got to have a relationship with the provider and not the provision. You must have a relationship with the giver and not the gift. Is anybody hearing me? Say yes. So Samson slept with the halot. And today, maybe you are not sleeping with the halot but you are sleeping with the doctrines of demons. You are sleeping, yeah, with human intelligence. You are sleeping with systems. You are sleeping with pride and arrogance. You are sleeping with your own achievement and success. And therefore you think you are good. You don't need anybody. Because your, your, your human intelligence and the skills and the systems and, and the anointing you are working with is working and everything you touch is gold. So you don't need the master. You don't need the provider. The provision is okay. Realize that Samson found himself in a similar situation where he was fooling but the gift was still operating. And that is where the deception is where we can still be blessing people, still feel the oil flowing, and therefore we don't see the need of turning to the master. But today I pray that whatever you find yourself in, you realize, you realize that God gives us all the opportunity to turn around and realize that even though Moses was in error and disobedience, 
and he did wrong, the rock still responded. And water came out to bless the people. The people were blessed, but he wasn't blessed. People can be blessed by your gift and by anointing whilst you are in error, in disobedience, and you are not blessed yourself. And you know it, but people are being blessed. And that, that is where the deception is. The deception is with this generation that we so depend on our skill, our anointing, our success, achievement, and gifting to the point where we don't need anything and we don't need anybody. Thank you